What are you doing? You're living your best life. We're just leaving at 45. It is Thursday morning. We're heading home. Going to take a shower, wash my hair because it has been a week since I've washed my hair, which for me is a long time. I know a lot of people who only wash their hair once a week, but I like to wash my hair. Um, two to three times a week just because I do work out like five, six days a week. So my hair gets like sweaty. The sun looks like it's coming out. I'm like very excited about this because I thought we were gonna have another rainy day. I didn't vlog yesterday because it just rained the whole day. I didn't even work out, I just slept in, went to work, and then basically just cleaned and rearranged our house yesterday and did laundry because there really wasn't anything else to do. Anyway. Rob just got home, <laughs> he's right there. And we're gonna run some errands. You have to get your computer fixed, right? Yep, it won't log me in. Yeah. Something added into my day. Today. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Best Buy. Um, I'll show you guys my outfit really quickly before we head out. I'm just running errands, so. I'm wearing my Veja sneakers and then I have these shorts on. They're from Aritzia. They have a little TNA symbol in the back. They're called high rise on the website. These are the five inch. And then this sweatshirt is from the bar. That's what I'm wearing. Simple, comfy. Picking up lunch really quickly. I ordered a little wrap and Rob's gonna grab it from this place that's called Frank's. It's it's in Mount Vernon and it's a little deli and it's so so good. Thank you. Hello hello it's for you for me and let's go. Yeah exactly What do you got? Strawberry cheesecake ice cream on a sugar cone. I'm not a big strawberry guy and it's really good. And then they have vegan ice cream, so we got vanilla. And we got pistachio. And then what did you get that was regular ice cream? Cookies and cream. Yeah, and then this one's the regular ice cream. It's the cookies and cream. It's so good. Probably one of the best vegan ice cream spots over here. So okay. if you're in the Mount Vernon Pelham area, it's on what street is this? Uh, Stamford Boulevard. It's on Stamford Boulevard. It's literally Stanford. next to like Target and Best Buy and like the little shopping mall. It is 
it's so cloudy. You guys, that was rough. I am not okay. Like, I can't breathe. Anyway, we're done. And I wanted to get gas because the gas station over here is pretty inexpensive compared to the ones by me. But I am covered in sweat. So I think I'm gonna wait and get gas. It's still not raining, but it's definitely not nice out at all. It's so gross. And it's like sticky, it's like humid, so. all this footage is gonna be like shaky. <laughs> Head northeast on north. All right, the sun came out, which is so nice. It's 67, it's kind of nice out. I never know. Turn get. right onto Howard Street, then turn left onto North Anywhere, Parkway. Anywhere, which is so sad, but I really always need my maps on. I'm going to get, it's called like a diamond glow facial. I've never actually gotten it before. And then... In a quarter mile, turn right onto Oak Street. And then I'm gonna get lip injections, I hope anyway. I don't know how long you're supposed to wait in between getting them. And I got some, I think it was March. I also made myself a matcha. I used the Vital Proteins uh, matcha powder and I just did do two scoops, but I um, didn't realize that it's not sweetened. So before I was heading out, I just threw some coffee creamer in there. I don't know if that's weird or not, but it tastes fine. I don't think that they're gonna let me film inside because it's like very private and very small. I'm just gonna show you guys like a before and after and kind of like I'll tell you like what they did and if I would recommend it. But I have gotten lip injections one time, very, very little amount. She only did, I think she said a quarter of a syringe and she only did my upper lip. I have very small lips and I didn't want to like have this huge change right away. So she just put like very little in, which was really nice. And then today I'm gonna see if maybe they'll do a little bit in both of them. I'm gonna see what she says and what she recommends. Up now it's 75. It's getting hotter guys on shorts and a crop top and this like how dark is this oh, there we go and then this sheerish long sleeve shirt is from Zara and then the crop tank top that I'm wearing is actually from free people it's literally $30 and it's amazing and it comes in a bunch of colors and I highly recommend it They're very swollen. They're going to be less swollen in a few days. And they'll be fully healed to like what they're gonna look like in about two weeks. So 
I feel like they'll be not as intense by the time I go to Miami and then by the time I get home from Miami they'll be um like how they're supposed to be. Continue on New York 117 North for three quarters of a mile. I need to figure out where I'm going. They're definitely swollen and they feel very weird because they're literally numb. And she put in a little bit more filler than last Head time. Head southeast on Woodland Road. Because I don't love the look of like unnatural lips, but I just have very small lips, so. It ended up being so nice though. It's like 80 degrees. I'm also in the town that you guys saw in the last vlog in Bedford where we got those cookies. Which, if I could feel my mouth right now, I would probably go get one, but I, I won't be able to enjoy it. I literally can't feel anything. I wish I could explain how my lips feel right now. Like, I don't even know the words. Oh, in terms of pain, if you've never gotten lip filler, it definitely doesn't feel good. Do you feel it? Turn right it does not. Away. It does not feel good. There is obviously numbing cream on your lips, and then I think there's also like stuff in the actual syringe that's supposed to help also minimize the pain. Turn right onto Preston Way. It's. I mean, you feel it. All right, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys back home. <laughs> My lips look better, I think not as swollen but the side's a little bit bigger because she said to even them out um one side was still gonna be a little bit bigger until they healed and then they would like come down and be the same settle into perfection yeah that they would like settle down and like heal to be the same so hopefully that works out and if not then she said to come back in like two weeks and she could fix it so that's the game plan right now and it's actually really pretty out right now she guys her windshield is very pretty <laughs> done an evening bag in a long time and there's literally nothing in it except my wallet and my phone I love when it has that thing on the handle where you could leave it and it'll fill up your gas tank. It's the little things. My lips don't, my lips look <clears throat> still very swollen. Can't even tell. We are back in Long Beach. It's Saturday morning. And she hasn't had her coffee yet. Do you want to get something to get in? Coffee? <laughs> we did not go out after dinner last night. We just went to dinner, but dinner ended late. Like, what time do we get home? 11.30? 12? Probably, like, yeah, like, I'd say 11.15, 11 11.30. 11 Insanely dark circles from not sleeping. I feel like since gas prices have been just so through the roof, everyone at the gas station is just, you'd think it'd be like everyone would be miserable, which kind of they are, but everyone's been so friendly, They're like looking at you like, you too, they huh? Like, feel bad. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> Sucks, right? <laughs> it's like everyone's guy. like, it's like a bonding. Like this guy <laughs> at the gas station where we live was like, joking around with me and he's like, do you want to fill up my gas tank too? And I was like, ha ha. And then he's like, 
uh, how about I take you out for a drink? And I was like, actually, that was like a decent pickup line, like good for you, that you like introduced as like a joke, started with humor, and then humor. You didn't make me uncomfortable, like you stayed on your side of the gas pump and asked. Laughter, key to a girl's heart, Marilyn Monroe. I'm sure it's not his. I'm sure it wasn't his first time. Well, you don't even remember what kind of car he had. I didn't. Look. I wasn't interested, babe. I have you. Good answer. <laughs> what's, what's that line in uh, How Does a Guy in Ten Days? He's like, Why would I need more than one girl? You have more than enough personality to <laughs> keep me occupied. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some ice or put some ice like in a napkin probably and put some on my lips for what I do. I have ice in the cooler. It's so early. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. It's not that early. It's early. For a weekend? Yeah, you're gonna be it's not that early when we get a parking spot in Long Beach. We're not we're going to East Atlantic Beach, I think. I don't think we're going to Long Beach. There's it's still like if you don't the get senior living place looks nicer than like most of the apartments. If here. you get to Long Beach around 10 a.m. on a Saturday, you're flirting with danger of finding a parking spot. Anything after that, you're driving around for 20 minutes if you're lucky. My mom and my aunt have my dog, and I got a cute text message picture. I think they're taking her hiking um, where my brother lives, which is in New Jersey. So she'll have a good day with them. And she hasn't seen my brother in like a while. When was last time she saw her When we went out there last time? When did we go out? Well, he was home. I think we brought her over for what? Oh, like yeah. my dad's birthday, maybe? It was back in March. March. I'm hungry. I didn't have any breakfast. You ate at 11 o'clock last night. It hasn't even been 12 hours. I ate at like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Those night. churros came out at like 11. Yeah, dessert. And like, I'm not really a big, I mean, churros I Churros are one. so good. Yeah, it's bread and sugar. It should, it should yeah. be dipped in chocolate. No, but you can mess up churros. Like I've had churros that are overcooked, and I've had churros that are undercooked for that matter. I need to get crispy and then get like like a, a doughy center, crispy yeah, outer shell. Like a nice like yeah, and they need to be warm. I'm like the second they get cold, you can just not, you have to eat them like. Jake's favorite spots. It's nice that it's on the water with the boat to have like a nice view. Peter's clam house. Sometimes you do well <laughs> researching and sometimes you're like, I researched this and you spent two minutes reading like three reviews. Sometimes it's all you need. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah. Rob's a, a marketer's dream consumer. Instagram ads get me all the time. You know what, I do need this. I like this hat. That's so much random <laughs> stuff. Catherine told me there's a new rule that I can't buy a hat unless I donate or throw out a hat. So, I've only gotten four more hats since then. It's like hide my hats. How many have you got to Two? Good day to have a day. It's a little windy, but it's fine. Find you a man that carries your chair for you. <laughs> so cute. 
We saw these when we were in Mexico a couple years ago and they were in the terracotta color, but this is the one that they had today. And we got it for such a good price, you guys. We paid $100 for this, so. And then Robbie got, you wanna show them? This yeah. guy makes these out of different types of metal, right? Like different yeah. things. So like nails, spring. This is Rob's purchase. Is it an urn, technically? It's like a bowl of some sort, some urn. I wonder what language this is. Looks like a Lord of the Rings in the back of the ring from Mordor. I don't know, it seems like a type of Arabic? I don't even know. Super cool. Very cool. I love the feet. This vase. Yeah, I'm in love with this vase that I got today. It's gonna go inside. I have to find a cool place for it. And then from the same vendor, Rob got this box. Heavy, it's heavy. Yeah, look at the top of it. That's the top of it. It's like the Gucci sign. Kind of, yeah. Very pretty. I like the honeycomb feel on top. I loved it, I picked it up and I saw that there and I knew I had to come home with it. Rob has to think about 30, the number 33. It follows me everywhere. And now it's home. Yeah, we did very well at the flea market. This, this is really cool. And we have some Ralph Lauren herringbone glasses that we also picked up that we were going to need to. Should see the shop. dragon on top of the skull? Super cool. There you go. Let me see the I'm so excited about this. Um, we'll show you guys the glasses we got too. These are the glasses we got. The Ralph Lauren glasses. They're like this herringbone. And we got 12 in this size, and then we got eight of the ones that are um, like an old fashioned cup size. So they're like this big, but yeah, we did well. We got a lot of stuff from the uh, antique flea market today. Of the way this tree comes down at the end of our driveway. This is something I just haven't gotten around to, but probably when we get back from Miami, I will handle this whole plant wall situation. I love my fire pit.